Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series for the given function f of x, which is made up of two parts. It's one when it is the interval from 0 to pi, and it is two when the interval is from pi to 2 pi. As a first part, we are going to write the formula for the Fourier series, which is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Now to find a naught we use a formula 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx but this entire interval is made up of two parts so we have to write 0 to pi and the function value is 1 dx and again we have integral from pi to 2 pi the function value is 2 so it is 2 dx and this 1 by pi is common for both so we keep a separate bracket now this is 1 by pi, 1 integration is x and we have to enclose and put upper limit and lower limit in the same way. Let us keep this as a separate bracket and this is 2x and again we have to put a bracket, we can use the 2 separately. So pi to 2 pi and close the bracket. Now this is 1 by pi, when I put the upper limit it is pi, lower limit minus 0 the same way 2 into 2 pi minus pi so this is 1 by pi pi plus 2 pi minus pi is pi and we have 2 pi so this is totally 3 pi by pi after cancelling we get a naught equal to 3 now coming to an the formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx dx. Now once again this is made up of two parts. So 1 by pi we have to write 0 to pi alone. f of x is 1. So 1 into cos nx dx and again we take 1 by pi separately and next interval is from pi to 2 pi function is 2, 2 into cos nx dx. So this is a simple integration. We have 1 by pi. It is sin nx by n and our limit is from 0 to pi. And again this is 1 by pi. 2 into sin nx by n and our limit is from pi to 2 pi. When I put upper limit it is 0 and when I put a lower limit again that is 0. Similarly here when I put upper limit it is sin 2 n pi which is 0 and lower limit is also 0 because sin pi is also 0. So totally this answer is 0 that is a n is completely 0. Now coming to b n which is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx dx so 1 by pi integral 0 to pi functional is 1 so we take the first part then again 1 by pi integral pi to 2 pi 2 into sin nx dx so this integration gives minus cos nx by n 0 to pi. Again this is 2 into minus cos nx by n and we keep the limit pi to 2 pi here. Now this is 1 by pi even this minus can be taken out. So cos n pi, let us substitute as it is, then we have by n, that n can be taken outside. 
minus lower limit cos 0 is 1. Again here it is 2 by pi and including the minus I keep it here and cos 2n pi minus cos n pi. Even here I can keep the n outside so n pi. So totally this is minus 1 by n pi and this is minus 1 whole power n minus 1 minus 2 by n pi and this is 1 minus of minus 1 whole power n. So now by taking this minus sign inside let us see what happens. So rest of the terms we write as it is. This become plus 2 by n pi and this becomes minus 1 and this becomes plus of minus 1 whole power n. I just want to make these two terms same so that I can take out common and uh, term I am going to interchange. So let us write the first term as it is and in second term negative term I am going to write it as a second term, positive term I am writing it as a first term so that we can clearly see these two are same. So that can be taken out that is minus 1 whole power n minus 1 is taken out. After taking out we have minus 1 by n pi plus 2 by n pi. So after subtraction that is taking LCM we get 2 minus 1 which is 1. So finally this is minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n pi. This is our bn. Now if n is odd so this becomes minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1. So minus 2. So bn becomes minus 2 by n pi and if n is even when I square this or power 4 become 1, 1 minus 1. So it is 0. So bn becomes 0. Now totally in by substituting in our function 4a series formula first term is a0 by 2. a0 we got it as 3. So first term is 3 by 2. Since a n is 0, no need to write that term. Now coming to sigma n equal to odd till infinity, we get minus 2 by n pi. The formula is b n sin n x. So we have to write sin n x. So now we can take from the summation the constants outside. So it is 3 by 2 minus 2 by pi is a constant which can be taken out. Now summation n is odd till infinity. We have sin n x by n. This is our required Fourier series for the given function.